Hello, my name is Denver Prophet Jr. and I'm the host master of Strikehawk eCommerce. We provide unlimited support with all of our hosting packages. If you want to know more about our company, just click the annotation at the end of the video. One of the most often questions that I'm asked is how can I stop the amount of spam that is coming into my email? This video is going to show you how you can set some advanced settings in cPanel to do just that. My solution does require four plugins to Spam Assassin, which is the tool used in cPanel to evaluate your email for spam. So open up a ticket with your hosting provider and make sure that these four plugins have been installed. All right, the first thing you're going to have to do is come to the blog article that's listed at the bottom of the video. And you're going to scroll down to the code area here. And I recommend clicking on View Raw on your keyboard. And I'm going to use a PC keyboard. You're going to hit the Control key, which is in the bottom left, and the A key. That selects all. Keep the control key held down and hit your C as in Charlie key. That puts all of this in the clipboard memory. Then you're going to log into your cPanel account. You're going to come over to File Manager. You notice that you don't see the folder that I'm going to do, so I'm going to type it in. Spam Assassin. There we go. Then the file you want to edit is called user underscore prefs. And then you want to come up to the edit key. And that's going to load up a new tab. You can see I, I pretty much got the uh, same thing here, but yours is going to look different. So what you would do is control A again to select all and then the control V key as in Victor to paste the clipboard contents. I'm not going to save mine, but once you do, you want to come over here and click save changes. And then you can close it. And that's all you have to do for that in order to get all of those advanced preferences from here. into your spam assassin user preferences these rules I've, I've tested out and I've tweaked and refined over the period of about six months and their advanced rule settings that take care of a whole host of issues but the reason I needed those four plugins for spam assassin is some of those rules rely on having those implemented now my whitelist I've included a few that uh, people normally get email from. You can take them out if you want to. But the nice thing about this is after you have saved that, you can come down to the mail section, Spam Assassin, configure Apache Spam Assassin, and come down all the way to the bottom to your whitelist from. And then you can manage these. An asterisk is a wildcard symbol. And everyone knows about the at sign, ampersand. No, it's an at sign for your email. Again, I've got some wildcards here for the domain name. Or you can just add in someone's email address. And that will append to the whitelist from. Don't change any of these unless you're uh, consulting with an IT professional. These scores have been tested. And what it'll do is it will add scores to your, uh, let me go back to that. It'll add to this score and emails that go over this score 
are then labeled with spam in the subject line. I wouldn't recommend auto-deleting spam. So that's going to take care of the first part and then the second part I'll show you how to have Spam Assassin auto-learn your emails and how to manually add false flags into a different folder so to learn that that message was not spam. Okay, next we need to go into your IMAP email application or what I find easier is just to use cPanel's built-in webmail program and we're going to set up two special folders. I like round cube, so I'm going to select that. Each one is different, but you're looking for the settings. And you're going to come down here to your special folders. Make sure that junk is enabled. And then here for custom folders, uh, you want to make sure that you create a folder called ham. I've got mine all created, but all you got to do is come over here and ham is not a subfolder, so just type it in and save. That creates those two mailbox that are necessary for the next step. You're going to have to log into each account on each domain, even if it's an add-on domain and create those two folders junk with a capital J as in Juliet and ham lowercase h-a-m okay you're almost done so you need to come back to the blog article again and you're going to add a job to your account that runs automatically overnight so put this into your text editor for now so we're going to do the control A and control C to copy it to clipboard and then we're going to call up I'm using notepad and put it in here and let's reduce that for now there are a few items that I put in here that are uh, dependent on your cPanel username and where your account is located and also the domain name so if you've got several domains you're going to have to repeat these two lines again and replace domain.com your cPanel user and your location and the best way to figure out that is to look here so your your home your home location there's that so that's where we would put that here and then strike one is my cPanel username so I would replace cPanel the CP user there and the domain uh, you're just going to have to manually put that in so for me it would be well come here is it going to let me edit or not Oh, that's because I'm not in the text editor. All right, so here I would change that to home two. I would change that to strike one. Got to do it again here. Oops, nope. Yeah, yeah, strike one. And then the domain name. So once again, read that. And replace instructions CP user, the domain, the location. Let's go ahead and do it here too. So we got the CP user, the lo the location of your hosting account, your cPanel username, 
and then the domain. Repeat this if you need uh, more than one domain, uh, like an add-on domain in cPanel. And these are these two are going to have to run. The first one checks for new spam in the junk folder, and the other one checks for messages that are moved over to the ham folder. Let's reduce that window. Let's come back to cPanel. I always have a hard time finding it, and you probably will too, so just type in cron, and that'll match up your cron jobs. Alright, so this one allows you to uh, fix a common settings. We're going to do this once per day. There we go. So select that. Now it's wanting to know the command. So let's bring up our text editor. Ignore this part copy that line in right there so control A or no I don't do that one do you just highlight and then hit your control plus C and paste that in and then click add new cron job and this one takes care of the spam I'm not going to add it because I already have it in there Do the same for the second command, highlight. Make sure you get all that edited first. Highlight it all the way to the end. Hit your control C key to copy it into memory. Come back here once per day. Put in the command, control V key as in Victor. That adds it in. and then add new cron job that will take care of the, the two for the first domain so you're gonna to have to do this for every domain that you have added email functionality so if you've got a add-on domain uh, put in that domain name in in your uh, editor on the next two lines and make sure all of these settings match up to your home location your cPanel username also here and then add on domain you would uh, put in the new domain name there these are wild cards to match those folder locations for every email account that I told you to repeat steps on earlier using webmail now it's time to train the delicious spam you need at least 100 emails in both folders to adequately, adequately train Spam Assassin to tell the difference between a good email and a bad email. And you can see I've got over 4,000, so that's good. Uh, what you want to do is, is if you notice something coming in from your inbox that should be spam, just drag it over there to the junk folder. If you notice something in junk that should be uh, valid email you want to drag it to the ham folder again you must have 100 emails in both folders you notice here uh, I've got something in a ham folder that shouldn't be there so let me move that back over to junk because that definitely was spam and so just keep looking through all of these for invalid emails like you know who needs this one this is definitely spam so let's move that over to junk and then every night cPanel is going to run through these commands and learn your ham which is valid email and junk which definitely is spam and after you have over 100 emails in both of these the the false positives will go down and the definites will go up so that is the last step now what I want you to remember is you have to set up these uh, cron jobs for each domain 
and then you must have a ham and junk folder for each email account so that's going to take a little bit of homework in the beginning if you've got 15 to 20 accounts on each domain first you have to make sure that those folders exist and then if you've got you know two or three add-on domains that you have added additional lines and created additional cron jobs to take care of those domains in the end this should lighten the load of your inbox and increase the uh, the filtering of spam and ham Now it's time to train the delicious spam. You need at least 100 emails in both folders to adequately, adequately train Spam Assassin to tell the difference between a good email and a bad email. And you can see I've got over 4,000, so that's good. Uh, what you want to do is, is if you notice something coming in from your inbox that should be spam, just drag it over there to the junk folder. If you notice something in junk that should be a valid email, you want to drag it to the ham folder. Again, you must have 100 emails in both folders. You notice here, uh, I've got something in a ham folder that shouldn't be there, so let me move that back over to junk, because that definitely was spam. And so just keep looking through all of these for invalid emails like you know who needs this one this is definitely spam so let's move that over to junk and then every night cpanel is going to run through these commands and learn your ham which is valid email and junk which definitely is spam and after you have over 100 emails in both of these, the, the false positives will go down and the definites will go up. So that is the last step. Now, what I want you to remember is you have to set up these uh, cron jobs for each domain. And then you must have a ham and junk folder for each email account. So that's going to take a little bit of homework in the beginning if you've got 15 to 20 accounts on each domain. First you have to make sure that those folders exist and then if you've got you know two or three add-on domains that you have added additional lines and created additional cron jobs to take care of those domains. In the end this should lighten the load of your inbox and increase the uh, the filtering of spam and ham just to recap the ham and junk folders trains spam assassin for the primary inbox folder you must have a minimum of 100 emails in each of those two folders